setting the pace at the front. If you can look back to about fifth and sixth position, uh, right there's a move on. He's going, he's waiting, he's actually just moving up to the front, he's repositioning himself, but wait for the control now to come from Eddie Springsteen. They're in the wings and the front of Mark Cameron is Will Big Mark Retro. He's the man who will hope to launch him into the attack. Well, if you go four riders back to drop Peter Sagan, I saw Mark Retro look over his shoulder to see where Cathy's was. The missile is loaded up, he's slipped into the stream of Mark Retro. This looks like a formality, he's loaded up the gun and he's going to launch himself here now. Retro has done his job, Retro who's on the floor. other riders. Now Cavendish is the rider fourth around the corner in the yellow jersey. He's been split off the wheel by the way at the moment of Mark Cavendish as they line up for the finish. But Sagan is in a very good position. Second place here. Back to Whitman is coming on the left too. Now they've got, and in fact Cavendish blocked in and blocked in by Bouter Whitman. Whitman comes to the centre of our picture. Watch out for John Irving dodging about them. Now comes Sagan on the right. Cavendish on the left, the two stars, wheel to wheel. Because he knows how to fight back. The red jersey there is well to whip it. The white jersey with the spots on is Peter Sagan. But watch Cavendish, all of a sudden coming from nowhere, starting to get the big engine going. Cavendish is there on the right-hand side. He's in second position, looking across to go on the right-hand side. Sagan moves forward over the left-hand side. Whippet, he's gone, he's slipping away. That's Cavendish on the right-hand side. Well, I'll tell you what, chap. As we wait for the line precariously, lunge gives us good enough Cavendish. Two out of two, Cavendish now has... There's the sweeper, and here comes the raw hole. Oh, look at that, he loved it. What a ride that was today, virtually the whole step. Minutes to get over that. Uh, we're looking at 34 seconds on the clock. There's an attack on the left-hand side of the road. Everybody's looking at these moves. These are looking for the, the lesser placings on the daylight today, but let's not forget the time so far, 29 seconds. Once it gets to 34 seconds, he's going to be the leader. It's gone, and he will be the new leader today. Well, they're throwing everything at the road at the moment. As we've got a James Higgins rider giving launching an attack here. Could be Hanamello. He's the climber on the squad, and he's revved up here. Look at Peter Sagan coming. He's still second overall in this race. He wants to hold back. He's absolutely ripping after the riders here. Can Sagan take second? It'll also, of course, score well in the points competition. But he's losing time as he comes up. He gets second place for the third day in a row. And the this is much more... one stage four of this race in May. This is how it happened.
Watch from how far back he comes. Daniel Oss is the rider in first position, but uh, Peter Sagan is about in fourth or fifth position there once he leaps on the sprint. He's got to come across the gap. He catapults out of the slipstream of Daniel Oss. Oh, and he pulls a little bit of a wheelie so across go. the line. Yeah. That's happiness. Yeah, exactly. That and the happiness and relief. Like, yes, I finally did it. I'm back. I knew I could do this. <laughs> Everyone can shut up for one second, please. Yeah, but look at the body. I mean, did we said to, we both said on the, <laughs> we both said oh. on the first day he did not look good on his bike. It took him tack. <laughs> Here there we go. go. Everyone can do a manual <laughs> after they won the sprint like that. That's no big deal. <laughs> Downhill? Downhill manual. It's 100 metres to go to the finish. Oh, look at this now. Fat Cavendish has got his way through in. Sagan's been forced onto his wheel. Renshaw has got his pile of fish. He's got his missile right behind him now. Van Poppel is the boy in white. Murphy is there, the half blue colour. And the line of water whipping is coming on the right here. Well, they've all got the first shot in it. Who's going to be the quickest of them all? As the attack comes now, Cavendish is going to have to blow this one because it's going to be a runaway victory. It is not going to be Cavendish. Now he comes. As he kicks towards the line here, this is going to be a foregone conclusion. The missile's there again, another win and a tremendous result. And again, Sagan coming left. motivated and he's got better every day the body language that we've been looking at Christian look at this oh, he's this pumped. is nervousness he's pumped. well he's on his way now as he makes uh, the break now he's gonna have to quickly settle in because he's 18 seconds behind the next man to start we'll go out two minutes behind him Tom Scooch uh, and he needs to pick up that 18 seconds to car park and up into the home straight Peter Sagan I think he's just uh, proving to the team boss, uh, the owner of his team, that he is coming on to his best form. He's looking at 12.46, and this will leave the mark now as to what will happen for Tom Scooge coming in. This is going to be best time. I told you he was motivated this morning. Christian said when he looked into his face on the starting gate that this is a man who is pumped. He's looking for it. Look at that. Comes up to the line, he searches for the line, he scalps the best time. Josh can take a break now, having sat there all day. But 12.31 is the time. Wow, well, I mean, we're not too far off. 45 seconds, that means that Alaphilippe has had to find his wings. Well, I just did, psychologically. Okay, right and with it, you. And it's us not forget. They well think, Christian, about the victory salute on the finish line. Now, a victory salute, if you take your hands off the bars in the last 40 or 50 metres, you could lose those five seconds. It's that critical. Went through the line to make sure that he's going to get this yellow jersey today. Well, he's crossed the lot to the finish line. He's Peter, finished. you've got to produce the finest sprint in those legs. You're going to have to kick around that corner. He's going. We are talking. Paul Sherwin showing me 40 seconds. And we're still waiting. There's Sagan. It is desperately close. It is about 10 metres from the line. Sagan has lost the lead. Unbelievable ride by Peter Sagan. But did you tell me? But you've got to salute Peter Sagan. Look at him. Getting helped off the bike. Oh. oh my god. I don't think Pete's ever gone this deep. Ever. Oh, never. This is the most incredible thing, and it has to be in the 10th year of this race. <laughs> Oh boy, Paul. Ten seconds, the win bonus tomorrow, and this man's back on his ground. The difference between them, Phil, is not going to be much more than two or three seconds. Yeah. Now, there are three seconds time bonus for the intermediate sprints, ten for the wins. This
Sag and they're all over the place. As they hit the line now, we've got Lotto Jumbo trying to break in now with a diving. Sagan's in second place. The yellow jersey has got to take him on here. Peter Sagan is going to break for the line in the centre. Mark Cavan is trying to do his best to grab that 10 seconds and proud to whip it in the red also burst into Cavanish gets it and I have a feeling that Sagan may not have got a bonus. We've got it to win or lose the Amgen Tour of California for Peter Sagan. It's gone to the photo. How fitting on this amazing race. I don't know. I think tied.